Hello, my dear students. This is Lina Abdullah, your IT teacher. Welcome you in our video where we are going to introduce what we uh, in week three what we are going to do. In this week, we are going to start with text functions and financial functions. With the text function, it's a group of function which deals with uh, uh, deal with uh, text only where we are going to explain and cover different text function which they are left, mid and right, trim and concatenate. Of course, we'll go in details over each one of them in the class, but I will just show you quickly how to do it. Uh, for example, if I need to uh, use the function there, I will go to the te formula tab and select text function and I will start with the left one. Left one is gonna return part of, let's say, the left side of the text we have for a certain number of characters. So for example, if I will do A3, which is the text I need to extract, and I will put five, which means I'm going to extract five letters from the left side. What about the mid? For the mid function also, I have to select which text I need to get, which is A4, from where I will start the extracting. Let's say I will start from number five, and I need to stop at number seven. So you will see that I will extract it, uh, sorry, I will extract five letters. So here I have five letters at at, uh, I will start with number five, at the, uh, and I will extract uh, seven letters which advance out of seven characters. Also for the right, it goes in the same way. So I will just select the right one, here is it. And I will select the text, and I'm going to extract, let's say five letters, which will be the last five letters from the text I have. What about the trim? The trim also, it's one of the text function which I can use it to remove. Uh, I will go to the function itself and I just type in trim to find it faster. And here is it. And the trim is just going to remove the empty space or the unwanted space from the text. So you see that the empty space at the beginning has been removed. And if I will use autofill function to copy the same formula for all the text I have, it will work in the same way. Concatenate, it's another function here, which can combine more than one text, uh, the content of more than one cell together. So if I go to the concatenate, I'm going to concatenate the text in cell G3. And here, I will try to leave, to leave a space between the words by double quotation, space, double quotation. Then, I will select the second one. Then again, I will leave a space to, between the second word and the third word. So, in this way, I was able to group all the text together using the concatenate function. So by this, my dear students, we covered the text function. Also this week, we'll go over the financial function where we will talk about the future value. And this is when you have a loan and you need to know after you pay the interest and the loan itself, how much money you have to pay depends on the interest rate, number of payment, present value of investment, which means that the amount of money you have and when the, is the payment due at the beginning of the month or end of the month. It goes the same for the present value where uh, I can find out the value itself. I have it now. If I have the future value, the one I will pay after uh, a long time and the payment PMT, which will give me the, uh, uh, the weekly uh, sorry, the monthly, weekly, yearly, we'll talk about all of that in details inside the class. So my dear student, this was a quick introduction for week three, where we are going to have, uh, learn and practice the text and financial functions. Thank you for paying attention.